Hi ya crafters, Amy here, and today I'm going to make a really cute peacock card, but it's full of a bunch of little fiddly bits. <laughs> so I got this die quite a while ago. It's been sitting in my crafty stash, and I'm on a mission to use the things I haven't touched yet. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make this cute little card for my daughter. I have a couple photos here of the finished card, and it's actually on an action wobbler. So you'll see here in a second, it's got a fun little spring that the peacock is on, and it kind of bounces around on the finished card. So I'm just going to kind of go through the process. You're going to see um, me struggling with these little tiny fiddly bits, which is not normally my jam. Um, I love dies like this. I'm drawn to dies like this, but then they sit as evidenced by how long this has been in my craft room. Um, I have no idea if it's still available, but if it is, I will link it below in the video description box with all the other items available. But basically, I ran it through my die cutting machine a couple times um, just because I figured I would need um, some extra little parts. Now, typically people will break them apart, but I just do not have the patience to deal with all these little tiny uh, individual dies. So I am just kind of leaving it together and cutting it all out in white. Now, instead of doing it in little pieces of cardstock, I'm just doing it all in white and then I'm going to color in the little pieces. So I have this uh, low tack tape here, kind of held down, sticky side up, and I'm using that to hold all of these things in place. So I'm pulling out all these little, um, I don't know, the little designer, <laughs> designer, the little fancy bits on the edge of um, a peacock feather. So I had to make sure I had enough of those, that's why I had to cut it multiple times. But here are the marker colors that I'm going to use. Um, you could ink blend these. In color men, you could use colored cardstock and use all different pieces of that. Um, but like I said, I wanted to do it all in white in one shebang. So I just grabbed some Copic markers, and you can screenshot that if you want to know, you know, what specific colors. But I'm just using um, my little pokey tool and the kind of low tack stick on this tape to fill in color onto all these little tiny, teeny tiny little fiddly bits. Like I said, I watch. Laura Bassin do amazing stuff like this, um, but I oftentimes do not have the patience, but this one was so cute, um, and my daughter is a bird lover, so I will go the extra mile for her. I will do it for her. <laughs> so you'll see this card is a little bit more in-depth and um, detailed and finicky than my normal kind of easy designs, but sometimes I like to do that extra step, and you know, I have this cute die, so I might as well use it. Now, you may have noticed on the packaging that um, the die was actually part of like a little box die. I don't have that, so I'm just doing the bird and kind of compiling it um, accordingly. So I did put a piece of washi tape on the back of the head, and I'm going to use that to basically hold the little eyes and the beak in place. So um, you could use another piece of cardstock behind it and liquid glue or a little piece of um, adhesive backed something or another to kind of hold it in, but this ended up working fine for me. Um, and I did take this very, very pale light blue just to add a little um, something extra onto the bird's face just to kind of add a little bit of shadow. So if you ever have something white, um, you can use like a really, really, really pale light blue or a really, really pale cool gray, and that will be a good way to kind of add some dimension onto um, something that is otherwise white. Um, so here I'm just using liquid glue to kind of put down all these little fiddly bits. I did the outer portion of these rings all in purple and the inside in green. Um, kind of following the idea on the back of the packaging but changing it up a little bit just because I feel like there's always kind of like a lime green with the teal. So I'm just kind of putting that in all his feathers here and using my pokey tool to really kind of push them into place. Um, you could probably use micro dots. Um, for this, but I just thought in this case, I'm just going to use liquid glue um, Putting down the little feet and like I said normally this would kind of come together differently if you're using the um, Box die, but since I don't have the box. I'm just kind of compiling it by um, Attaching the feet and this cute little hair on the top and then ultimately I'll pop up the head with some foam Just to kind of set it off the background a little bit So that's a way to use this without having the little coordinating box box portion so I laid down one piece of foam tape and I realized it doesn't quite sit up high enough so I'm just going to remove that backer and double up the foam just so it'll sit off 
nice and high. Now, this would be a little bit bulky if you went to ship it, so you may not want to go as high with this, especially if you're going to do an action wobbler. Um, but since I know I'm just going to give this to my daughter, I don't need to mail it, um, so it works fine. Now, I decide I want to go a little bit extra with these cute little um, feathers off the top of the birdie's head and add these adorable little crystals. I think they're from Studio Katia, but I find the smallest one in the lot and then just put the tiniest little dot of liquid glue on each of the little ends of these feathers just to add a little something special to um, the feathers on the top of this peacock. So we're going to make them even fancier. So I'm just going to kind of put these away after I'm done, you know, spilling them all over the place and making a mess because, you know, I'm such a picture of grace here. Um, and then I decided I want to add some rosy cheeks to his little face. So i um, coming in with a little very, very light pink and just kind of dabbing um, some rosy cheeks on the bird's face. And then I use my blending tool just to kind of break it up even further. So it doesn't really blend. It kind of erases. So I kind of use that just to allow the pink to really soak into um, the paper and kind of just be a very, very subtle pink kind of rosy cheek. So I remove the backer and attach that to the feather plumes in the background. And that's going to finish the peacock portion. So I'm going to set him aside and then get to work on the rest of the card here. And like I said, I don't normally go this extra um, with my cards, but since it's for my daughter, um, I don't mind because I know she'll appreciate it. So here I have some lightweight gray cardstock. I just cut down an A2 size panel with my stitched edge rectangle dies. These are from Paper Rose and I use them all the time. And you can see it cuts it down just a little bit smaller than A2 size. And then I have this all to new Modern Squares 3D embossing folder. And I will run this gray panel through off screen through my die cutting machine just to add some of this awesome 3D texture onto this panel. And this is what I'm going to use for um, the background for my adorable little peacock. So I'm going to set all this stuff aside. I'll attach that to um, the card base and that's 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White. Now I have this scrap piece of black cardstock and this uh, stamp set from Simon Hurley. You can see there's a peacock stamp on it. But I love this Shake It Till You Make It. So it's a nice kind of bold um, font and I'm just going to use my embossing tool from the rabbit hole designs. Now this makes it so you don't get embossing powder where you don't want it. And then I'm going to come in with Versamark which is a clear sticky embossing ink and I'm going to stamp this down a couple times um, in my Misty just to make sure I have a nice even impression um, on this sentiment. And then I will coat it with alabaster white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. So this is how I'm going to make the stark white kind of really pop off this black cardstock. So I'm just kind of um, flicking that and getting the excess off and then I'll use my heat tool. I have a wow embossing heat tool. I get it nice and hot and then I will cook this embossing powder to melt the white um, powder and turn it into this nice bright sentiment. So I'm just using a rag to wipe off the extra powder and that finishes that. I will cut it down off screen just to a nice rectangle size. Now I have this sentiment set from Pink Fresh Studios. My favorite things to say. Um, you could see by the packaging it is well loved. Um, I use it a lot but it has a really cool sentiment that I want to put on the inside. So it says you're capable of amazing things. So I'm always reminding my daughter that oftentimes the right thing is not easy and that she can do hard things. So I feel like I want to keep this card um, ready for her if she has, you know, a need for some additional encouragement. She has just started junior high and so far so good, but you know, it's a <laughs> confusing time in people's lives. So I want to have, you know, encouraging cards like this on hand, ready to kind of brighten her day when she needs it. And she's a bird lover um, and we all love peacocks. So obviously it's a win-win. So this is where I'm going to bring in the little um, action wobbler. I don't know if you're familiar with these, but they have kind of a hard plastic side and then like a clear sticker cellophane side. So I'm just going to remove the sticker on the hard plastic side. I can never remember. I feel like I watched a video once saying what side to put it on, whether you put the plastic on the card or I can never remember. So um, I do kind of stretch it out though first and see if it does kind of sit wonky because sometimes they will, look I'm throwing stuff around. <laughs> 
there's no ghost in there. That's just me being very graceful. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I do kind of set the action wobbler down to see if it sits kind of funny, and then I'll attach it accordingly if it's kind of, you know, higher on one side than the other. But I'm just going to attach this down with some liquid glue after I'm done struggling for a little bit. Um, the texture of the embossing folder was not cooperating very well. But then I removed this back of the sticker, basically, and you'll see there's this clear bit. And then you just attach that right down to the card. And then you have this awesome action wobbler. So I'm really kind of getting my fingers under there, making sure I'm pressing it down really good. Just because the bumpiness of the embossing, you want to make sure it's got a good seal with the adhesive. But these are so fun. They never get old. <laughs> but anyway, I decide I got to go a little bit further and add some blingage. So I'm kind of deciding between these cool flat back sequin thingies that I probably got in a rabbit hole designs order and these gems that I used on the hair and then the possibility of both and I'm struggle bus but you get the idea anyway I attached them in odd numbers three on the top two on the bottom and I have this nice sentiment you are capable of amazing things on the inside of the card and that's going to finish the card so like I said a little bit extra for me um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the action wobbler and the cute die cutting and all the little fiddly bits. So if you did, please hit the th thumbs up and consider subscribing. And like I said, I'll link whatever's available in the video description box below. And when you do follow my links, it really does help me out. Um, it's no additional cost to you, but I do get a small commission on some of those items. So thanks so much. I appreciate you. I'll catch you next time. Bye.